Please listen and listen clearly, okay? Georgia State. Cheryl Ade here and either welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. You can tell based off the title, this is a welcome to Georgia State video. So it's my first year at Georgia State. So I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little rundown of some Georgia State things you should you should know, especially since this is where you're gonna spend your next four years. I first want to talk about something that's pretty important. Georgia State parties because I think that's like a big part of college, let's be honest. With it. Like let's be honest. I think it's parties. I don't want to say they're trash, but they're not the best. Um, don't feel discouraged when I say that because it's just the parties to me. I'm more of a house party kickback type of girl. I don't really like those. I don't like those promoted parties. I hate, I, I'm so anti-promo team. Like, I don't like them. I think they're annoying, especially all on your TL, all on your Instagram feed, all these posts. It's irritating to me. So yeah, you're, it's really annoying. Like it's not worth it. All you're gonna get, you're skipping the line. Whoop you fucking do. <laughs> I'm sorry, like parties, they're not for me, but obviously they're doing something right because they legit have a party every single week. Every single week. So they're doing something right, obviously, and people keep going. They keep going to these hot, sweaty, musty parties every week so i re do recommend you go to at least one i mean go to one or two so you can get a feel for it like and after those two you see you don't really like them then you don't really like them <laughs> it's that simple um the next thing with parties i want to talk about is going out bad going out bad means you're at the party and you're on the floor you're throwing up i mean you just like that those girls you see on movies you know i do not recommend to go out bad i don't know why i would well, I would not recommend you to go out bad. Know your tolerance when you're doing things. If you're trying new things out, I do not recommend to go out to a party afterwards because you you don't know your side effects yet. Like, you need to take some time. Also, with going out bad, you're going to find out who your friends are if you do go out bad because sometimes I be at parties and I see a girl going out bad and her friends are recording her. They are laughing. They're not even helping. I can let them like that's not your friend like that is not your friend you over here throwing up and your crush is over there looking at you he's about to come up and ask you for your number but he didn't change his mind now like so just don't like me and my friend india went to this party once and they were not letting anyone use the bathroom because it was like an apartment so people kept saying like you go the bathroom you go the bathroom but it didn't matter me and india were leaving the party and we saw water on the floor we looked up, this girl peed on herself. She had a, a black shirt with some light brown pants. I don't remember her face at all, but yeah, she peed on herself. One side of her leg was just full of pee. It was like, I'm, all I had in my mind was where are your friends? Like, where are your friends? They should have somehow hidden, like, y'all should have took in the stairs and y'all should have ran back to your dorm and act like it never happened because it, it was outside the party, so they could have done that. So with moving with um supplies, textbooks. Georgia State, for the most part, all of our books are online. Like, you're going to use my math lab for your math. <sighs> Good luck if you take your math at Georgia State. Um, and are you doing, um, like, my biology book is online. Don't, I do not recommend buying your book before class because, like, my chemistry class, he told us not to buy the book. He had an online, like, like there was somewhere online you get the book for free. So I do not recommend you buying a book before. I mean, if you're the type to like that, to like to like get your book before, then do that. But you really don't know if your teacher's even gonna use it. You're even gonna use it. Wait till syllabus day. Cause it's not even syllabus week really. Cause so y'all, after they show you syllabus one time, you're going straight to class. You're straight to notes. Like swift. You don't get out early. No, you about to learn your first day. Like also, you need to talk to your roommates about what you're gonna get. My, me, my roommates, I already knew them. They went to my, we used to go to school together. So we decided we were going to share everything. Not like clothes or anything like that. But we sh we shared, um, we would share our waters. We shared food. We shared like toothpaste. And like my, me and my roommate Taylor, we both were contacts. So 
if my contact solution was out and it was finished, she'll go get hers. Look, detour. The shell, it has like different people like just pull up the cup, go there because Georgia State's in the middle of Atlanta. People saw Quavo outside of Piedmont Central in his car like. Culture, ain't it? Culture on the tracks. Now the show be taxing too. Let me tell you, they be they tax because they know where stu college students and nobody wants to like take an Uber to certain things. Or even if you take your car, like I took my car, but some things I just will not in the mood to drive for, you know. So yeah, the show is taxing a lot. I recommend you get your roommates. I mean, I think you get your roommates number, but follow them on social media because they might be on Twitter talking about you. So you should just follow them. Just because okay. y'all remember that one Twitter story? This girl she tweeted she was gonna kill her roommate and she actually killed her. Yeah, you should follow your roommate. Please listen and listen clearly, okay? Georgia State about Georgia State's bus system. My first day, I was like, I'm not taking the bus, I'm only walking, you know, no freshman 15 or anything like that. Second day, I let go of that. I took the bus and I was leaving, I was leaving my class and I wanted to go to my um, room real quick and I was gonna come back. So I got on the first bus I saw because I thought they were all the same. I look, I'm on my phone, I look up and I'm at Turner Field. Turner Field is where commuters park their cars. So I'm at this point, I'm like, what, what the fuck did I do? So I go and I ask the bus driver, I'm like, I need to go to Piedmont North. He's like, okay, get on the bus in front of us and it's gonna take you to Piedmont North. So I got my bus in front of me and I'm waiting. I see people getting off at Sparks Hall, but I'm like, he's been taking people on North. I'm on my phone again. I look up and I'm back at Turner Field. The bus in front of me and then I just walked. I was like, I'm not doing this. This is too much. I'm just gonna walk forever. Yeah, of course that ended by the time, by the next day. But yeah, get on the green route if you're for the student center because the student center is in the middle of all your different classes like because you know Georgia State's not a traditional campus so you're gonna have to walk a little bit but the student center is gonna be like is the midpoint purple route takes you to Ada Hall don't really worry about Ada Hall unless you're going you have your classes there but it's farther away from all the other Georgia State you know areas and blue route don't go on unless you're a commuter like there's no reason. Um, okay, let's talk about homecoming. Um, homecoming week, Georgia State does a lot. Like I said, Georgia State's not a traditional college, like at all. But they really do try like to like make you feel have the college experience. The first the week of homecoming, they had like a block party, hot one oh seven nine DJ hot one oh seven nine DJs for everything though. They had they had breakfast, um, on the first day. Um, and we had wild and out. Most schools, when I saw on Snapchat when they would have Wild and Out, it wasn't the actual people came, but for us, Nick Cannon, all of them came. And when we were in line for Wild and Out, there were people from Spotlight coming. If I didn't say what Spotlight was, it's a student ran organization that hosts like day, like it hosts all the events, like for Georgia State for the most part. But we were in line, they were like, who wants to be on stage? Who wants to be on stage? You have to say this rap. It's the family reunion who we should do. I can't sing, I'm sorry. But I had to, they were like, if you say it, you can get on stage. So I did it and I said something, it was lame. I said something, but he gave me, my roommates, and that, well, that was my roommate now too. But they gave, he gave us all um, wristbands. If you have a wristband, you can come on stage. So we all went on stage, like they just joined each other. Yeah, so they did it. I didn't do I was I was gonna step up and say something but I could not think of something and I I'm so off beat I could not do that. But yeah, and then they were like, we have a special guest for y'all. Migos and we was like, hey, wake up, drop the A Like we were it was so much fun, but then it was too many people on stage so they cooked us all off stage. Also, Georgia State has a staring problem, like a really bad stare. Everyone, like I used to think something was on my face. I thought it was just me, but no, Georgia State has a staring problem, a serious one. So, I mean, just stare back, I guess. I don't know. States, um, you're going to be walking a lot, if you want to be honest with you. Because even sometimes you're not going to be in the mood to wait for the bus, especially because the guys don't know you're supposed to get up when it's all girls standing on the bus. 
some guys don't know that but yeah it's gonna you're just gonna walk sometimes look get hit by a car okay don't be the one who's like you know what i can try when it's gonna happen all that stuff Boop. you got hit you, what, what you gonna do you ain't gonna sue because you wrong you are wrong um so you're gonna be walking a lot but you're also gonna be ubering a lot so i'm gonna uber code down below well like on the screen but one thing they do lack are good nail salons do not go to the nail salon on Edgewood. When I tell you that nail salon is trash, it's trash. I've got my nails done on a Wednesday. They started breaking by Friday. Yes. It like it's trash. The shaping was trash. It was like nail salons in Atlanta are so expensive. And the ones back home, like your home nail salon, probably is so much better. I promise you. The last thing I really want to talk about is don't lose yourself in college. Like, do not, this is like a general don't lose yourself um first off if you're if you were going to church at home go to church at school like there's churches around i would go home to my home church on sundays i'm not doing that this semester so if y'all go to georgia state and you go to good church comment it down below because i need a church but and don't lose yourself because like i said this is your first real freedom experience you like this is the you don't have to ask your pants before you leave the house type thing so you don't want to be that one who just goes crazy you stop going to class you're drinking and smoking every single day all of that you lost your hope and your hope was paying for most of it and your parents not gonna pay so what you gonna do you won't what you gonna do so don't lose yourself don't forget while you're in school yeah have fun but at the same time do not lose yourself like make sure you have your priorities and i forgot to say join an organization things go to join the group meetings like all of that because this is just another way to meet people another way you can thought like see what's happening textbooks you can ask them professors you can ask them about it talking about professors go on ratemyprofessor.com that is going to be your best friend when it comes to picking your schedule because some of these professors they really mm -mm. so it's not it's like it gives you levels of difficulty and stuff so make sure you go on my, i'm gonna put the link down below um also like organizations follow them on instagram like like okay well first follow me on instagram but then go on like gsu spotlight and you know when you follow someone a different like all types of different like recommended tabs come up so just follow different ones because they have flyers but those party promoters they put their flyers on top of it so you can't even see it so i do recommend that you um just follow them on instagram so like i said welcome to georgia state my name is cheryl edit um if you see me on campus you know just say hi i might have a me i might have a resting bitch face but i just have a natural resting bitch face i think everybody does i'm to be honest with you so, but if you do see me, say hi. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you guys gained something. And if you want to see more, just make sure you, you subscribe. If you liked it, like and comment. And I'm actually having a back to school series starting in mid-July.